Hey everyone, welcome to The Financial Glass, where we talk about investing, building a business, entrepreneurship, real estate, personal finance, technology, real world tactics and strategies that you can apply to your business and your life. I'm William Glass, thanks for joining, and today we're gonna to talk about consistency. So as I mentioned last week, I was at FinCon, think Comic-Con, but for finance nerds, and um, one of the things that I, that I took away from that that pretty much everyone harped on is consistency, right? So no matter what it is in your business, whether it's um, you know, a marketing strategy, whether it's uh, customer service or your product, it needs to be consistent. You wanna provide a consistent experience. So in the context of FinCon, you're talking to a lot of folks that create uh, content that are YouTubers or bloggers or you know whatever it is. So for them, it's publishing on a regular schedule. It doesn't matter if that's once a month or you know every every uh, every week. It really doesn't matter. What matters is developing that consistency, right? For uh, those of you that are big Bachelor fans, you expect to see that every Monday night and sometimes Tuesdays. So if you showed up and all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, sorry, we just didn't you know get it together," you'd be really upset. So think about how you can be more consistent in your business. Same thing when it comes to customer service, right? So Chick-fil-A is really big on this. Their whole strategy essentially is creating a, a custom experience that's really focused on the customer every time you walk in, right? So if you went to, if you go to Chick-fil-A and you say, thank you, instead of hearing your welcome back, it all, they'll always say my pleasure, right? And you expect that consistency. If they said all of a sudden you're welcome or, no problem, that would be, you know, that, that wouldn't be consistent with the way that Chick-fil-A develops its brand. So when you think about branding your business, um, make sure that you are consistent, whether it's in the content that you put out or in the experience or the product that you're putting forward. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about where you can be more consistent in your business. Where can you strategically develop or create consistency whether it's with your customer experience, whether it's with your communication with your clients or customers, think about what you could be more consistent at and double down on it. Thanks everyone, that's it for the Financial Glass, where we talk about entrepreneurship, business building, investing, real estate, tech, real strategies and tactics that you can apply to your business. I'm William Glass, thank you for joining and figure out how you can be more consistent.